Fitness model Amho Height has passed at 49 years of age. Palumbo here with an RX Muscle news update. Fitness model Amho Height has passed at 49 years of age. Uh, from the stories I'm hearing, uh, it seems as though she fell, possibly down a flight of steps or on some steps, injured herself. Uh, people had uh, tried to convince her to go to the hospital. She obviously didn't want to go, from what I'm understanding. She went to bed last night, or two, this might have been two nights ago. And when she woke up the next morning, she wasn't feeling good, and then uh, she suddenly passed. Now, uh, from what I'm hearing, it could be a blood clot that dislodged itself, possibly. It might have been a pulmonary embolism that killed her. There's no official cause of death as of yet. Uh, Amho was uh, a pretty popular fitness model back about 20 years ago. She also famously dated Chris Cormier. I spoke to Chris via text earlier today and he confirmed uh, her passing. He said that he still was in you know, contact with her pretty frequently. They talked all the time. They have a son together, Kivia Kite, who Chris has a relationship with and who actually Chris introduced me to uh, about a year and a half ago and he wanted to get into snakes and he knows I breed snakes and uh, I sold him a, a boa constrictor. So I have that relationship with him. You know, we have a commonality in, in snake loving. But the sad news, you know, is that we lost another person in the fitness industry again, this by freak accident. You know, when stuff like this happens, it's just like, oh my God, I wish this could have been avoided. I know Chris is crushed. I know the son is crushed. This is a very hard loss if you're, you know, her son or, you know, a loved one because it's so frivolous. You know, there was nothing wrong with her. She was in good health. Good spirits, Chris said they, like I said, they spoke frequently. You know, she had a very, very close relationship with her son. And for something stupid like this to be the cause of death, it's just sometimes incomprehensible. And I know that the, probably the, the entire family and loved ones and friends of Amho are probably having a trouble wrapping their hands around this one with so much disease and, and other stuff that goes on in the world to have a freak accident like this is just, is just terrible. Chris actually sent me um, video and some photos of when he first met Amho at FIBO, which is a uh, big expo they hold in Germany every single year. This was the year uh, that Dorian Yates was there, Paul Dillette, Flex Wheeler, Chris. They were all up on stage posing. Amho was there uh, appearing as a fitness model. They met each other, and Chris sent me this picture. I'll put the picture up of the two of them together after meeting. This was the first day they met, and then... I think maybe the next day they did this guest posing. I'll put the guest posing up there uh, as well. You can see some of the top stars of the day, Dorian Yates, Paul Dillette, Flex, of course, Chris. And you'll see uh, as they exit the stage, there's Chris and Amho right there. And, you know, they were, they were a pretty popular couple back in the day. They had their differences, obviously, and uh, broke up at some point. Uh, but Chris... Obviously, had a son with her that that was their commonality, and, and it kept them together all these years in terms of being in contact. Send my condolences, send my prayer, send my love out to the family's friends and loved ones of Amho, especially her son. This is a tough one, obviously, for all people who knew her. Amho was one of the like best looking, you know, fitness models back in the day. She actually probably was one of the people who started the whole craze of putting fitness models in bodybuilding magazines. It all kind of started for her when she won that Miss Fitness USA contest back in 1994. Uh, that was like the craze back in the 90s. It was really before they started an official figure division in the NPC. It was kind of predating that and people kind of didn't know where to go. There were many organizations, but uh, it seemed like the, the, the most beautiful, best body women seemed to rise to the top and those were the ones that people were putting on covers of magazines with bodybuilders and putting them in the inside of magazines for lingerie issues and, and all kinds of uh, fun stuff that they did back in the day when there were magazines and actually people cared about the magazines. 
So Ambo was one of the more popular at the time. And once again, you know, her relationship with Chris Cormier made her even more well known in the bodybuilding and fitness industry. You'd see her at, at fitness expos and uh, in California all the time. So I want to read this statement that Chris Cormier texted to me. Him and I were going back and forth earlier today uh, when I asked him, you know, what had happened and he had given me the story. And I think it's important that I read this because this, I really believe this came from the depths of his heart and he meant this very soulfully. Quote, I want to thank the fitness industry, family and friends for their sincere condolences. Amho's greatest joy in life was her beloved son, Kiviak Cormier. The bond between mother and son was unbreakable, a testament to the love and care they shared. Kivik was her pride and joy, and their special relationship will forever be a testament to the depth of her maternal love. Thank you to all who reached out. Very touching words from a dear friend, Chris Cormier, who's obviously hurting and mourning himself. Thank you, Chris. Having said that, very sad day, you know, to lose anyone who's, you know, in their 40s or 50s, in the prime of their life, you know, doing the things that they like to do and, you know, raising children and influencing the next generation is just terrible. So, once again, I send out my condolences, I send out my love and my prayers to Chris and the entire Amho Height family. Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle news update.